to go. My dream come true on a movie set turned into a nightmare. I couldn't walk, I couldn't think, I couldn't keep my lunch down. I was being rushed to the hospital and we didn't know if I would live or die. Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, don't worry, potato chips saved my life. To understand this story, we need to begin when I was a five-year-old little ballerina. I was extremely shy. I wouldn't talk to anyone outside my own family. This included my ballet teacher, whom we'll call Miss Rachel. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> Even when I had to use the restroom in ballet class, I would not say a word to Miss Rachel. I crossed my legs. I did my own little dance. I squeezed everything. It was no use. <laughs> my ballet tights were soaked. <laughs> Could things get any worse for a shy ballerina? Something far more fearful loomed on the horizon. It was the ballet recital. I would have to dance on stage in front of an auditorium full of parents. I knew Miss Rachel would be yelling out weird things like first position, third position, fifth position. My mom had her own fears. I would stand up there frozen in fright, or cry, or wet my pants. <laughs> I had my own solution. I was not dancing in that ballet recital. Do you think I would fake sick like a normal child? Yeah. I had faith in God and confidence in miracles. So I knelt down beside my bed to ask God, please, before that ballet recital, let me die. <laughs> <laughs> it made so much sense in my five-year-old mind. But the words wouldn't come out of my mouth. I was torn between stage fright and smooth potato chips. Yes, what I call smooth potato chips. Not the wavy kind like my mom always bought. I had seen these on commercials. I knew they were heavenly, light. This is what movie stars ate. One day I asked my mom, as she ate her wavy potato chips, when can we ever get smooth potato chips? When you're old enough to buy your own food, you can get whatever potato chip you want. <laughs> if I were lucky enough to reach the mature age of 16 or something, my potato chip dreams would come true. So there I knelt, torn between escaping my fears and death and living to be in potato chip heaven. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't die. I danced in that ballet recital. And I found out I liked the spotlight. I grew up to overcome stage fright and move on to greater things like joining Toastmasters. <laughs> I even was able to laugh at horrible situations. If you're a good Toastmaster following your agenda, you'll know that we're going back to the story five years ago. I had the opportunity to go out of state and be an extra in a movie. I was so excited. I would look and feel so glamorous and smart. Kind of like a division contest judge. <laughs> I would rub shoulders with movie stars and eat smooth potato chips. My hopes were soon dashed as soon as I walked out of the hair and makeup trailer. They put rags on for a costume, my hair looked crazy, and they put dirt all over me. You see, this was a biblical movie, and they wanted us to look authentic. I looked authentic all right. I felt old, dirty, and ugly. I'm a positive person. I put a smile on my face. I decided to make the best out of a bad situation. I moved on to the food tent. They had quite the spread, even for extras. Then I turned around to the snacks. I surveyed the snacky snacks. Where are the potato 
chips. There were no smooth potato chips. All they had was cheese balls. I hate cheese balls. <laughs> Not to be deterred, I kept a smile on my face. I followed every direction they gave us. We were filming in the desert, and the directors were worried about dehydration. Drink more water was the mantra. I'm from Arizona. I can handle the heat. I drank water bottle after water bottle after water bottle. I still got extremely sick. I was crying and vomiting and practically wetting my pants. As I looked into the eyes of a movie star, I realized this was not the glamorous situation I had pictured. Did I want to escape my shame and death? No. I had a much better purpose for living, and it wasn't just smooth potato chips. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, <clears throat> what is your bag of smooth potato chips? What will help you keep on going and laughing even on those horrible days? For me, it was my amazing husband and four fabulous children. I wanted to live! So they rushed me to the emergency room. There, the EMTs had to explain I wasn't some homeless lady. This was just a costume. <laughs> we found out that I was low in electrolytes, including sodium. An IV of saline soon had me back to health and sanity. But it's ironic that a simple bag of smooth potato chips would have literally saved the day. Madam Contest Chair.